The card of June, the tarot card for June 2nd, 2023. Came out too quick. I just want to pop out. <laughs> tarot card of the day. I'm doing a love tarot. <clears throat> Romance. True love tarot. What do they need to know? For June 2nd, 2023. My voice is a little raspy. <clears throat> My apologies. I'll take it. Oof. Cars want to speak. That's good. All right, I got your mystery. I never seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. I never know where I stand with you. Someone could <clears throat> feel like uh, off standish with, with you. Like really just don't know who you who you are, where you're, what is it that you want in love? Like feel awkward around you, hovering. You may be feeling that about them. Like you ever have a person that Stands there. I'll take it. Why not? That hovers over you and doesn't say a word, which makes it super awkward. I've had those situations. You are my favorite. You are my favorite. You are the person I want to call when so something good or bad happens the first thought when i have news to share you're my person but the person could make it so awkward even when it's good or bad you just don't know how to perceive it Because, like, either you're just going <clears> to <throat> say what it is or what it's not. Spoil you. <clears throat> I want to spoil you with good life. I want to spoil you with gifts and trips and everything you ever needed or wanted and deserve and nothing less. That's all well and good. Gifts are great. A good life would be even better. Problem is like either you or your partner can't communicate and it just makes it awkward when you talk. Like hovering over you, looking at you like, well, what do I do next? I don't even understand who you are. Oh. Uh, I want to tell you good news. I want to tell you bad news, but I can't communicate. <laughs> My communicating skills are not very well. I feel like you're my twin flame. You activate my soul and find my true purpose and destiny in, in life. And I help you help me heal in ways no one else could thank you for finding me again this time around 
really. You're feeling like, oh yeah, one person feels like, oh yeah, I'm your twin flame and yet yeah, I can't communicate. Yet you're looking at that person like you can't communicate, you can't talk. You just stare at me, you look at me, you linger over me. But I'm your favorite person. You're a mystery to me. Makes you feel awkward at times. Like, is this quite right for me? Am I making the right decision? If the person I'm with can't speak and doesn't ever really see the good or bad, or, or I can't communicate because I feel like you're gonna pass judgment. But ultimately, the other person thinks you're the twin flame. It makes it very awkward because you may not be feeling the same way. That's okay. Different love language. I'm leaving. I'm I'm ready to leave to a I'm ready to leave a situation or a mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. So maybe you're realizing that you've got to work on you before you can do anything. Because if you feel like that, it doesn't feel like a relationship if it's one-sided. One-sided communication, uh don't know what to say. I want to tell them really good stuff, but I just can't. That is the Love Tarot for June 2nd, 2023. To be continued. So, you know, I've been there. I've been in uh, quite a few different situations where, yeah, uh, if I can't talk to you, if I can't communicate with you, like, how's this going to work? If we keep getting frustrated at each other, it gets super awkward. So ultimately, find you, find what is best for you. Have a good day.